Hello everyone, this is Prashant here. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we saw all the how to set up the playwright, Python, everything, right? So today we are going to see locators. So basically, you can ask, what is locators? The people who studied Selenium, now they know locators. But people who are st starting first in their career, I will show you. So basically, so take this website. Suppose the client is asking, I want to verify this sign up page is working fine or not. See this, no? So in this page, the customer need to give the uh, email ID and you want to click. So manually what you will do, you will simply launch the browser, go to the URL, then type the email ID in this location. After that, you are clicking this button. So manually you can do. For automation, you need to write a coding. So for that, what do you need to do? You need to know the location of this email text box. This is a text box and this is a button. Like some login button, some arrow bu button, something is there. Okay. So I need to know this location. To find the location of this web element, we will use the locators. So basically there are two top locators there. One is XPath, another one is CSS. So XPath, there are so many videos. I will do the XPath in a second video. This today we are going to CSS because CSS is the faster locator compared to all the locators. Okay. So before that, so how to see this? So for that, you want to right click on the website, right click and you want to click on the inspect option okay when you click on the inspect option see here the entire html page is seen over here so this is why we call it as a dom direct object model so this is the object model so another thing is here there is a small arrow icon so this icon we call it as a inspect icon okay inspect tool so i'm clicking on the inspect tool when you click on the inspect tool it will become blue color after that you can go to anywhere in the website and you want to click on the location where you want the code so i'm clicking on the this text box so when i click on a text box see here automatically the code is gotten highlighted okay so this code is the written for the text box from the front end developer okay so this basically this is a html it starts from html tag see here HTML cell after that head tag, the water the maroon color now, this until we called as a tag, HTML tag, head tag, body, div tag, here the input, mostly the text box and all comes under the input tag, okay, this is the in tag, and ID, type, placeholder, and ng module now, this until we called as attributes, okay, first is the tag, next one is attributes, two things you want to know. So basically you don't need to know HTML because you are not a front-end developer, you don't need to worry at all. Simply you need to know how to find this location using CSS. Okay. So we'll go to the coding. So this is the previous day we done the coding, like how to launch the, uh, uh, launch the browser. After that, how to create a new page, how to enter the URL. This and that we saw yesterday's class, like previous first video. This is second video. Okay. So I'm going to create a new Python file. See this? Right click on the project. Go to new Python file. This is I'm going to see the locator 1. Locator 1. So when I click on this file is created. So I'm going to type like import playwright dot sync API from so this is the from even I forgotten. So first is from. Mm -mm. Okay, from this. So I'm also studying with you guys. Yeah, as everyone knows. So this is import, and after that I want to call the sync playwright. Okay. After that we need to start with the with because this is the function. So with sync playwright as a p. So I mentioned you can give any name like you can give play. So any you can give. First thing is we need to create a browser. So for that we are browser. What browser? We'll start from play dot. We need a Chrome. Okay. We need to launch. So yesterday class I taught you we need to give a headless equal to false. Otherwise it's an error because it will run on backend. So we need to make headless into false. After that creating a browser. Right now I need to create a page from the browser. From the browser, I need to create a new page. So I'm maximizing this page, this file, so it will be easy for you to see. 
okay right now everyone able to see right clearly so after that caging now i need to go to the url so url i need to copy from this here so i will give this url in the description you guys don't need to worry in the description i give the url okay so and this is a hash symbol is to be used for comment okay hash this is the symbol used to write comment is like normal sentence to know what you are writing inside like suppose i am writing this code tomorrow some my colleague is seeing na he don't know what is this function so to make this we will give a comments okay we need to use hash like hash is for python basically so i am there are three ways one is id class and using attribute for what for css selector to implement a css selector we we have three different ways one is id class and attribute to indicate id we need to use a hash for class we need to use a dot operator and attribute there is a syntax for that like tag name square bracket attribute equal to attribute value so what is the value is present over there we need to copy so we see one by one you don't need to worry first is how to use a id that's the first task okay how to use a id you see okay so if you see this like inspect i'm smith i'm showing inspect again clicking at the inspect item like icon it will become blue color after that you want to click on where you want to find the location i'm clicking on this text box so this it has a what's the tag name input is a tag name what are the attributes it has id type placeholder so it has id mostly id is kind of a unique unit like unique always so never use a class because most of the places the developer will keep a class as a duplicate so never try to use a classes id is fine so what i need to do i need to copy the email so i need to come here page dot query selector so basically there are query selector is used to for a css selector what is the best way na use a wait for selector so what is the use of wait for and query is na query is generally search for the web element wait for selector is it will wait couple of seconds in the website suppose you know the browser will take time to load sometimes the web element takes time suppose the some features will web element will take time so better is you can use the wait for it okay after that you can use the hash symbol why we using hash symbol just now i taught you to indicate it's a ide we can use a hash okay so right now i'm going to store in a variable so this is a email text box text box so i am creating one variable in the variable i am storing this web element okay so after that in the web element there are two things suppose any buttons or any links na you want to click if it is a text box means you want to use a type so it will type like like a keyboard type na so i want to type like a test at in gmail.com some some random mail because this is a testing site see this first i cre- I, i find it the web element and i store it in the variable using this variable i am typing the some keys okay cool then so how to run it right click on the file i run as so before that i will use some wait because you know right mine close soon wait wait for time out i am i am saying like for 3 seconds like 3000 means 3 seconds so 3000 milliseconds means 3 seconds i am running this way so it will launch the browser see this test@gmail.com it's typed na so that is a cool thing right so and you see how fast it is i remember the css will work faster than python also faster so next thing is right now you guys going to find so how first of all how to cl- right now i completed the text box right now i need to focus on the button so how to focus first i want to click on the inspect blue color came so i am going to the website i am clicking on the button once i click on the button see here it is highlighting okay 
so i will give you a couple of seconds you guys tell me what i can take from this place okay here also we have what we have id so right now you guys going to use it how to use it copy the value of id come to the things here this is like button na i am going button login button login equal to page dot wait for selector in single quotation first i need to give a hash and this value after that button dot this is button so i told you you want to use a click not a type so for entering anything you want to use a type method for click anything na you want to use a what click method so i am going to cut this wait i am going to paste it here so yeah what are things we done so we done a first of all we create this page and we went it here and we done so on so i am right click i am running this file it's so simple na that is how it so very very simple actually so see this it's click the login button it went to the registration page how cool na that is so so right now we saw using a id next one is going to attribute because class you don't guys know you don't study just know you you want to use a dot operator to indicate a class but don't need to study much okay so i'm going to create a <coughs> i'm going to next website so this website also i will give you the url in the description you guys don't need to worry okay so in this page you want to write username password and login button three things you want to do okay so that i'm going to use a attribute function okay so first you want to do right click inspect that is the first task after that you want to click on the inspect icon it will become a blue color and go to uh, on this page sorry for it okay right click inspect the page click on the inspect icon and you want to click on the username see this i click on the username so this is the page so if we see here we don't have a, it, it has a class but it don't have a id right so that is a problem obviously so because we don't have any because as i told class value always a duplicate because some other variable might also same so what the, that's why we need to go you say either name or a placeholder because obviously it feels like it the unique why because username is the value so obviously in the entire page here only it has the user name that too is called input tag what tag input tag and name okay so i am going to create a username equal to page dot wait for selector and basically what i will do na i will copy the syntax here you guys can guide me okay i am pasting here okay first thing what we need to give a single quotation after that i want to give the tag name see here tag name what is a tag name here it is input so i am giving input after that square bracket yes square bracket what is attribute name attribute name is kind of name so i am copying the name equal to sorry i didn't copy properly name equal to in double quotation i want to paste the value of what is the value of name user name i am pasting here and close the square bracket that's it see here tag name square bracket attribute name and value okay so what i am going to do na i am going to comment this section entirely comment it won't run and i want to change the url so i am copying this url and i am pasting it is in this place so right now the website will go to this page and so the page after that what i need to do user name what is a function type na type method in single quote so in this page here at the top it give a username password so you guys can use this is a valid username and valid password okay so i am passing admin okay 
so i'm going to be faster here and as well as password page dot wait for selector in the single quote how to find the inspector pa password first click on the inspect icon click on the password see this it's got highlighted see here it's got highlighted okay so as usual so i what the first thing is in single quote i need to put the tag name because input is a tag name and i am going to use the type here differently okay type is because you can use any attribute okay equal to in double quote i need to use the password after that password dot type i need to type the password what is the password admin 123 this is the password after that this is login button login button equal to page dot wait for the selector in single quote first of all i need to inspect the login button see this it type is submit so okay what is the tag name tag name is see it clearly here tag name is button like button na so i want to use the button here button square bracket type equal to in double quotation i need to paste the what is the type submit okay cool right so what i want to do here i want to click the button so that's it so clearly you saw right first we move to the url then what i will do now i will fix the timing and keep it last so first thing is it will type the admin you go to the password and it will type the click on the login button how cool na no? so you will keep on practicing right it will become easy guys i am just even this weekend i didn't study today in the next class we will every day i will put around 8 9 9 o'clock video okay see this it's went to login successfully it's went to the home page right so this is how we need to do that okay so i will give both the urls in the description you guys can use it If you faced any issue, please put me in the comment. The next class, I will try to see the comments, and I will. Uh, we will need to. We will try together. Okay. Okay, man. Thanks for joining. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.